just rolling down the road here headed back towards Stockton but in Springfield most of the afternoon all the afternoon I guess some of the er, not early morning late morning seems like always got things to do down there always something to do so the weather's starting to get kind of weird again here in southwest Missouri not that that's any big surprise it's always kind of funky but there's which I was asleep last night I, I went to bed just a little before midnight I guess uh, they had some tornadic weather down in Texas Oklahoma and Kansas yesterday but there about midnight I'm I'm watching TV getting ready to go to bed working on some odds and ends and I seen a tornado warning came up for McDonald County which is the uh, southwesternmost county here in Missouri and they they always get some wild weather down there and I didn't think anything of it went to bed woke up this morning it rained got got just under an inch there at Stockton come to find out down here around Springfield they they had some small tornadoes touch down uh, the last uh, news report I read on Facebook because well that's where anybody who's anybody gets their news from Facebook but the local station there they said uh, they had a confirm they confirmed four different touchdowns last night tornado touchdowns so, and now they're saying, and which I've been watching the weather here, it's looking like it's uh, getting ready to start storming or cloud up and rain. And I've heard reports anywhere we're supposed to get up to six inches of rain this weekend. Man, six inches of rain on top of what we already have now, that's just more flooding. That is a lot more flooding because it's still wet. It's ground saturated. More tornadic weather. I mean, there was a lot of trees and stuff blown down. I don't think there's any big destruction. So that, that was, uh, we were fortunate in that. The people down here in Southwest Missouri were around Springfield, so. Uh, I, I can tell you firsthand about tor tornadoes and bad destruction because my hometown of Stockton in, in 2003 literally, literally got blown away. It was the uh, day after my senior prom of high school. Uh, my senior prom was really the last thing I did as, as a high school student because it, it leveled Stockton, that tornado did. It was a bad outbreak that day. I mean, it, Pierce City, Missouri got hit really bad. Stockton just got decimated. I mean, it just killed three, maybe four people. Which, was, I mean, granted, that's not a lot, but for a little town like Stockton it was, it was nothing like the, the tornado down there in Joplin in 2011. Now, that, that was crazy, that storm was. I wasn't down there, but we uh, we weren't far away, and we were we were keeping an eye on the weather. Rough road I'm on right now. If you can kind of hear it's beating me to death. Uh, been a couple days since I posted anything. It's been kind of crazy. The honestly, like uh, you know, Tuesday sold logs. I was in meetings Tuesday. Was on the road Wednesday. Meetings yesterday and today. Tomorrow we're gonna if it, if we don't get rained out tomorrow we're gonna try to get some stuff done. But so I mean there's there's slow times just like anything else. I mean when when you juggle two or three different things it seems like you're getting pulled in every direction. Which with the app and the website with Turner logging with logger threads I'm I'm constantly getting pulled in different directions and I, I try to divide my time up the best between all three of those. Which sometimes it's hard, it really is. But, uh, we got some new designs on logger threads that you can pre-order. And I say pre-order because that order's been placed. And we are currently waiting for that shipment to come in. Which, you can pre-order them. As soon as they get in, they'll be shipped out that day, that night. I promise you they will be. So, pretty cool stuff. I'm, I'm excited about the new image uh, called the Lumberjack. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Got him in a V-neck, a Heather Gray V-neck shirt, which I like a V-neck. I'm wearing a V-neck shirt right now. I love V-neck shirts. And we're probably going to come out with some different colored V-necks for that, for that image. Uh, as far as the crew necks, they're in a midnight navy, which is kind of a bluish color. I really like that color. We decided to go with a black and white image this go around. Uh, I've, I've got a panel of judges we always kind of let decide because... I'm no fashionista, so. Uh, and the Heather Gray, that was a, that was actually a request. A, a girl I know that wears our shirts, 
she actually kind of requested that and I, I ended up liking it and a few other people did so we went ahead and came out with that heather gray and that v-neck which I'm, I'm super excited about them like if, if you guys haven't worn one of our logger thread shirts super super comfortable shirts high quality material made right here in america it's it's its own brand it's its own label it's not like i'm going down to the the print shop and print what they give me top to bottom logger threads its own brand it's its own label so check that out each shirt comes individually wrapped and packaged so when we get those in it's not like we're getting a box of t-shirts no we've we've got individually wrapped and packaged shirts i work with some really great awesome people that help me get all that done they are incredible incredible people to work with and deal with so yeah definitely uh definitely check out logger threads check out that facebook page order you some shirts uh the timber strong sh uh, series of shirts we we want we mark them down they're marked down to 20 dollars now but the uh, the lumberjack series they're at 26 which i know some people aren't well, that's a lot of money for a t-shirt eh, eh. They're, they're not cheap shirts. These are not like something you're gonna go to Walmart and get. These are high quality shirts, high quality material, top to bottom. Everything's about quality. Anything that I put my name to, I mean, it's it's gonna be first class. So guys, check that out. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll like the material if you haven't tried them out. You can order them. The only place you can order them right now is on the, on the uh, Facebook page, Logger Threads on Facebook. We will have a website up and going for that soon that you'll be able to place orders from. Uh, this damn semi here, he's getting kind of crazy over here. We better turn the turbo up on the old power stroke. The guy's probably been up for two or three days. So, yeah, check that out. I'm gonna get off here. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have some uh, have some awesome footage for you. If we don't get blown away tonight, like I said, uh, they've already got us under tornado watches, so. Man, I'm telling you, living here in Missouri, you, you, you people that watch the channel here, you guys know what it's like living in Missouri. The weather is constantly changing. I know the hot weather's already here. Logging's miserable. Uh, I, I hate summertime logging. I absolutely hate logging in the hot weather. I'm ready for October, man. Take me back to fall. This guy is getting off here. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Follow us on Facebook at Turner Logging, Instagram at Turner Logging. Check us out, uh, Timber Tracker. Uh, on the on Facebook and download the free app. Logger Threads on Facebook. We're going to order them shirts. Guys, getting off here. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time. See ya.